Hello. It's good to see you. Today, we're going to take a look at my five outfits for the coming week at work. Now, I do work in an office, if you've not seen one of these before, and, you know, I try to find stuff that's comfortable, but still looks nice and has sort of a business casual feel to it. And, uh, and I like sometimes to, to put them together and then show you what I, you know, what I've picked out to wear. Now, when I put together my outfits, usually for each one, there's something that kind of inspired it. I usually start with one thing. And with these outfits, um, several of them started with a necklace. For some reason, necklaces seem to kind of guide my, my choices for this week. You know, it may be a pair of shoes. It could be a, a blouse, a sweater. I mean, it could be just, it could be a, a scarf, you know? And, uh, so actually one of them this week, it was a scarf that inspired it. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you all that. But first, before we get into that, I wanted to show you this. Now I've had people ask me, you know, I'm getting ready to go on job interviews. Um, how can I look nice on a budget? Well, again, if you're new, most of my clothes come from thrift stores. I don't buy much new. I mean, some things I'll buy new, but a lot of it comes from thrift stores. And you can actually find some really nice stuff for a lower price in thrift stores. And I wanted to show you this right here. I bought a pantsuit. Now, I didn't really need it, but I bought it because it was such a good deal and I, I really kind of liked it. This is from Evan Picone, and it's a nice gray suit. It is a three button suit, and I'm gonna show you the things that I've paired with it. And it comes with this pair of pants right here. Now this, this uh, pants suit, um, I found it at the little thrift store. It was $4, but it was half price. So I got it for only $2. Now, you're probably not gonna find it that cheap at every place you go to. I mean, that's, that's pretty cheap. But it's really nice look at it and the pants are a little big but i'm not really worried about that i was mainly looking at this jacket i thought the jacket was pretty and the jacket fits me quite well the pants are a little too big but it was two dollars i mean you know and then it was all set so but a great thing about stuff like this is that you can take this jacket and pair it with other things. You could pair the pants with other things. You can use the separate pieces to make additional outfits. So it kind of goes beyond just wearing them together. And it's very easy to accessorize a pantsuit or a, a nice dress or something like that. It's usually pretty simple. For this one, I couldn't I couldn't quite decide on the, on the necklaces. So I, I picked out two. I thought I would show them to you. This necklace is just so pretty. I like it because it's kind of an unusual color. Now it's it's long. It's so groovy. Look at that. I like it. It's about well, it's kind of similar to this top I have on. It's um it's not really green. It's not really blue. It's but it also looks like it has a smoky tinge to it. I love this necklace so much. These are um plastic beads and then we have these individual little links holding it together and there's no clasp so you could wear it doubled up like that you could wear it long you could put a little knot in it if you wanted to but I thought this would add a nice little extra little layer of color to this pantsuit because it's very gray and it has sort of a cream colored uh, pinstripe to it but I thought this would add a nice little bit of color to it so I, I saw that one and I thought that would be nice but then I also saw this necklace here. I'll show you this one. Either one would work. But I mean, if you look at this, really, I would go with a silver colored necklace with this. I don't know that I would wear gold. I mean, it, you know, gold could be okay depending on the necklace. Really, though, with this, I would kind of stick with a silver color. And I was looking through my necklaces and I spotted this one. I had forgotten all about it. Look how pretty this is. It has these little layers to it. You have a leaf, a little flower, another flower, three flowers. It has a little lobster claw clasp back here, about four inches of adjustable chain. So I thought that would look pretty with it. You know, it's kind of, it's silver, but it's not a shiny, flashy silver. 
it's just very pretty. I love that. So I would go with either of these. Like if I show you the top with this, I don't know. I just think it looks nice. I don't like the way this looks with it, but I have paired this with a little cream colored top that also came from a thrift store. And that's just where I get most of my stuff. I'm having trouble with my necklace. Okay, let me just take that off. See, it's fully lined too. This jacket is so nice. I was mainly looking at this jacket because I just thought it was so cool. And I tried it on and it fits perfectly. So I think if, if all I took out of it was this jacket and I donated the pants back, I think I got a good deal. Even if I just keep the jacket for $2. Yeah. And this is a good piece to have if you're trying to put together a few outfits for uh, job interviews. And let me tell you, no matter what job you're going on, you want to you wanna look your best. Don't go in there looking like you just rolled out of bed. You want to make a good impression because it is really their first time seeing you face to face. I would presume, and you want to make a good impression, and you can make a good impression without spending a lot of money. Like this top right here is from East Fifth, and it's just a very simple kind of an off-white, uh, sort of a scoop, not really a scoop neck, it's kind of like this right here, this neckline, sort of a wider neckline, so it's kind of nice because you can wear all different types of necklaces and it shows, you know, it's not covered up by your shirt. A little top like this is great, and you can find these at thrift stores all day long for three or four dollars. And this one came from a thrift store. You can I have these in I have them in white, black, this sort of an off-white taupe. Just you know, I, I try to find them in different colors so you can kind of mix and match them with the with mix and match them with different things. And I was looking at the stripe in this jacket, and it is sort of a cream-colored stripe. So it's very simple. Just pair it with that and it's going to look very nice. You have your buttons here. Are the pockets real? I didn't check. No, of course not. Because we as women don't need pockets. They just have to look like pockets. Heaven forbid you should want to put anything in them. <laughs> oh no. I think honestly, I like this necklace. If I had to pick right now, so I'd probably go with this one because this one is just fun and I love it. I'd probably pair it with that. Right there. I don't know, I just kind of like I kind of like the way it looks with this. I know, just something about it. And sometimes when I pick out things to wear together, maybe they don't go together, but kind of they just make me happy. I see them together and I think I like the way that looks. It makes me happy. And I wear what makes me happy. Earrings. I love these earrings. All these are cute. Look at these little clip-on earrings. They have these little dingle dangles. Look at them. And they're very comfortable. They look like they would be heavy, but they're actually not. Because this part, although it is metal, it's hollow. And these little parts here are, are, are also hollow, and some of them are plastic. So it's, these are actually very lightweight earrings. And for shoes, because I have issues with plantar fasciitis, I have to be careful about arch support. So my shoe collection is not massive because a lot of shoes just don't work. So I have to make sure to wear a pair of shoes that gives me good arch support and these are great. So I have these. These are earth shoes right here. They're black suede. And I thought they would look really, really cool with this outfit. I don't really have any gray shoes. I have a pair of gray knee-high boots, but they wouldn't really go, like if I was going to wear the pants. Yeah, they wouldn't look good. I would probably wear this because the pants, I mean, the pants are kind of big, but I could probably make them work with a belt or something. But if I were going to wear the pants, if I weren't going to wear the pants, I'd probably just go with a pair of, um, I have a pair of slacks that's a light khaki that would look good, or I have a skirt that's kind of a light khaki that would look good with it also came from a thrift store, the skirt and the slacks, but let's just leave this as it is for now. But yeah, if you're looking for something nice on a budget, 
check out your local thrift stores, con uh, consignment shops. Um, if you have a Ross or a TJ Maxx or Marshalls or anything like that, those are also good options. Um, and you can find some really nice stuff at reasonable prices. But this is my little outfit that I put together with my $2 pantsuit. Okay, now we're going to get into the outfits for my week at work. Now, I always start out by looking at the weather forecast because that will play a part in what I'm going to wear. Plus, if I know I have to go out somewhere at lunch or if I'm going to be doing a lot of walking, I want to make sure to wear shoes that are comfortable. And you just, you know, after a while you get a feel for which shoes are more comfortable or less comfortable for stuff like that. So I try to keep that in mind for the different days of the week if I know ahead of time what the weather's going to be like, whether or not I have to go out at lunch, that kind of thing. So I'm going to keep that in mind. But Monday's outfit was inspired by my last trip to the little thrift store. <laughs> I purchased two things and I picked up one thing on the 50 cent rack and the other thing was also 50 cent. And I started out with a skirt. Look at this skirt was 50 cents and it's a beautiful dark, dark brown, crushed velvet skirt. I love it. It kind of has this like boho look to it. It's so pretty and it's very thick. Like it's, it's very nice. Look at how pretty this is. This was 50 cents. This was on the clearance rack for 50 cents. I love it. I think it's so cool. And it's nice and long too. So if it's a chilly day, you know, hopefully I won't get too cold. <laughs> I will probably wear a slip under it as well. And sometimes I will also wear tights under it just for an extra layer of warmth. I will probably do that and have tights in different colors. Although with this particular skirt, it wouldn't matter because they're not really going to show. But I started with the skirt and I'm walking around in there with the skirt. So I decided to buy this. And then I walked over to look at the scarves because I've been wearing more scarves lately. And I saw this one. I don't know who made it. There's a little tag on here, but it doesn't say who made it, but it's so pretty. I picked up this scarf also for 50 cents. So we've already spent a dollar on this outfit. I love the colors. Look at the little chevron stripes. Oh, it's interesting. And it has little bands of elastic in it. It's so neat and it has fringe down here. It's very long. <laughs> it's a very long scarf, but I thought it would look pretty with this skirt. Right here. I like it anyway. I think it's cute. And so I'm looking at this skirt and I'm, I'm in my closet and I'm looking at all my stuff and I'm trying to think what would look good with this really dark brown crushed velvet long skirt. Well, I ended up with this. <laughs> Right here. I have this to go with my dark brown long skirt. I'll show you these pieces. I think both this and this came from the little thrift store, which means they were probably $3 a piece. I have this nice sweater here and it's so warm and so soft. I picked this necklace to go with it. It has these beautiful amber colored glass beads and these green beads, and it has just, just this giant bead down here. It doesn't really go with a lot of stuff I wear, but I thought it would look really nice with this and with this scarf right here. So it does get kind of chilly in my office, so that's one of the reasons why I've started wearing scarves. It's like an extra layer of warmth because I'm always freezing. I don't know. It's me. I mean, nobody else in there is complaining of being cold. It's just me. I don't know. And then I have this pretty wooden bracelet, which I have shown you this before. I think it wasn't too long ago. We did this with an Outfits of the Week outfit. Beautiful little painted wooden beads here. I like these colors. I thought this would look especially nice with this scarf. Having these, wearing these together. I like it. I think it's nice. And then for the skirt, I have this belt. And it's really just kind of decorative. It doesn't really do anything. But I thought this little belt would look really cute. And it hangs down kind of like this on your waist when you wear it. I thought that would look really pretty with this skirt. So we have this skirt. 
And the sweater is kind of short, so you would actually be able to see the belt, I think, because it's sort of a waist length sweater. It's, um, it's not a long sweater. So, so we have this sweater, and you can see the back has this ribbed knit to it. I think it's so pretty. I think it's so pretty the way it's done. Look at that. It's from St. John's Bay. And then under that, I have a, a little camisole that is on a separate hanger. Sometimes I can remove it easily and sometimes I can't. I love this little thing right here because it's stretchy, but it's also very warm. And I wear this under a lot of stuff but it's got that nice dark brown color to it, like the skirt does. Yeah, I think that came from the little thrift store. I'm pretty sure it did. To go with that, I have this pretty little pair of gold earrings. They're not real gold, but I like them because they're not a shiny gold. It's kind of a burnished gold, an antique gold. They're very pretty, I like them. And I have my dark brown knee-length boots and I like these because I can put my arch support insoles in here and they fit perfectly and it makes them very comfortable to stand and walk in and Mondays I have to be especially mindful of my feet because I go to this uh, exercise class on Sundays that sometimes has a lot of jumping in it and I find that jumping really irritates my foot. I don't do all the jumping that everybody else does, but I always do some and then my foot is kind of sore. So I have to be, I, I know I shouldn't do it, but I love the class too much to stop. So I always make sure I have good uh, arch support on Mondays, especially after my Sunday afternoon class. It's, it's essential. It's just something I have to think of on Mondays. So again, we have this pretty, I love this sweater. It has these big buttons, look at that, coming all the way down. So I can button it up if I want to. We have this nice necklace to go with it. And my scarf, look at this thing. It's really, really long. So we have this pretty scarf with our necklace. And I can't hold everything. I need more arms. So this all started with my 50 cent skirt and my 50 cent scarf and stuff I already had and my belt and my earrings and my boots. And that is my outfit for Monday. Tuesday's outfit started with a necklace that I bought at the little thrift store last weekend. I found this really pretty, it's kind of a, like a ruby red color necklace. These are plastic beads. They are multifaceted, so they really catch the light. And it has a medium to large size lobster claw clasp and about three and a half inches of adjustable chain. And so I wanted to put together an outfit so I, to go with this necklace right here. That's my favorite shade of red. I just, I love that sort of a darker red. Oh, it's so pretty. So I go into my closet and I'm holding this necklace and I'm looking at everything. And I looked over to, I have all the skirts over here on this side. So I'm looking at the skirts and this one kind of popped out. This one sort of jumped out at me. <laughs> this is a nice sort of a silky fabric, but it's, it's very thick. It's a, it's a very bold <laughs> skirt. I like it. It's, um, sort of an abstract floral pattern to it. So but I thought it would look really pretty with this red necklace right here. Oh yeah. So I said, that's perfect. This outfit was actually very easy. <laughs> and then I have this dark red top. I love this. This is from Joseph A. Quesquese Silk and it has these little oval plastic beads. I wanted to show you this necklace with it too. This top, I bought this years ago at Goodwill. I was in there browsing one day and I spotted this top and I picked it up. I looked at it. I put it back and I left the store 
And if you do a lot of thrift shopping, you've probably had this happen. You can't stop thinking about something you picked up and then put back. I kept thinking about this top. And I ended up going back a couple days later and I was thinking, it's going to be gone. It's not going to be there. Well, I looked over where I saw it originally and it wasn't there. And I kind of went up and down looking to see if it had been placed somewhere else. And I did find it. Fortunately, somebody had picked it up and then it was down at the end of the aisle for whatever reason. But I did buy it. And it has these pretty little beads. And this is the necklace that I wear with it most of the time. This little necklace. I don't remember where I got this. Probably in a thrift store. It has these little pendants, these little dingle dangles. Look at them. It's just so pretty. But again, it's kind of that darker ruby red color. But I wanted to show you that necklace because I just think it's so pretty. And then to go with it, I have some ruby red clip hoop earrings and a ruby red glass beaded stretchy bracelet. I have a lot of stuff in that shade of red. So there we have it. Well, that would be really pretty. But I have to keep in mind that it's chilly at work. One downside to this fabric is that it's not warm at all. It feels cold to the skin and it never really seems to warm up. So I thought you need something extra to go with it. So I have this White House Black Market blazer. This nice black blazer right here. And it has a faux leather trim. And it's just fabulous. Okay, from a thrift store. <laughs> And it's this beautiful leather trim. It's faux leather. It's not actual leather. So I have this nice little jacket. It has a little button in the front. So I have that to go with it. And my earrings. These are little spring clip earrings. So people without pierced ears can wear them. And I find these on eBay under spring clip earrings. You can find them all different sizes and colors. This is my red pair. So we have red and black going on here. I really like it. They got my little hoop earrings, my little bracelet there, and of course the necklace that started the whole thing, and the skirt to kind of go with that. I think it's really cute. I like it. I don't think I have ever worn this skirt with this jacket before, but the skirt does have a little bit of black in it. It's fully lined. It's very charming. It's, it's very cool. <laughs> I like it. It's, it's different. And then to go with that, again, the, um, I paired these with the pantsuit, but I would probably also wear these boots with this skirt. The, the knee-high boots just don't look right. And again, with my foot issues, I can't just wear any kind of shoe. <laughs> So these are kind of my go-to if I need a dark pair of shoes, but the boots don't look right. I would wear this with it. So that right there is my outfit for Tuesday. And Wednesday's outfit started with the necklace too. I was looking through my necklaces the other day and I spotted this one and haven't worn it in a while. This one, I think, came from one of the Goodwill jewelry bags several years ago. Um, it's so pretty. You have this little sort of a teardrop-shaped pendant, and it has these green, little light green and dark green little rhinestones. It's just so pretty. Here's the back. This is really nice. So this is what started it. When I decided I wanted to base an outfit on this necklace, this one sweater of mine popped into my head. I thought, you wear this sweater. So I went into the closet and I have all my sweaters folded up on the shelf in there. I couldn't find it. And then I started thinking, oh, did I get rid of it by mistake? Because recently I went through all my sweaters and tops and I donated a bunch of them to the little thrift store. And I thought, did I donate that by mistake? And I thought, no, I couldn't have. I would have noticed. Fortunately, I found it. It had kind of somehow gotten behind a stack of sweaters. So it was up there. So I decided that it would look really good with this dark green sweater. And it has a little built-in little faux leather belt 
right here and it just has this little tab so you're just going to fasten it together right here like that and it has this nice knit to it here but it's kind of thin so I would want to make sure to wear something under it that would keep me warm <laughs> it's kind of long and then in the front it kind of comes down like that I like it this came from a thrift store it doesn't have a tag it was probably bought online who knows where but it's actually really pretty I like it and it's a uh, dark green so I thought that would look really good with my little green necklace kind of feels like something from Lord of the Rings or something that the gold and the green I don't know just kind of has that feel to it and to go with that I decided to pick out a dark brown long sleeves sort of a silky top it kind of has a silky feel to it but it's also very warm it's from Club Monaco and it has an unfinished hem which doesn't really matter because I'm gonna wear it with this and it's not really gonna show so we have this dark green and brown it's our little necklace here and I picked out a bracelet to go with it this little link bracelet right here has a little snap clasp to it and another pair of spring clip hoop earrings these are thick kind of smaller uh, compared to the red ones that go with the other outfit but they are also spring clip earrings they're just a little bit thicker you know so I thought those would look nice with the necklace and I have another dark brown <laughs> skirt this skirt is actually reversible it has two layers to it it's reversible and it's black so you can wear it as the dark brown or the black and somebody made this I bought this in a thrift store it doesn't have any tags on it I believe somebody made this skirt it has some gathers here on the sides a little bit of elastic on the sides it's a beautiful dark brown but if and it has sort of a swing to it but it's also black it's like a knee-length skirt and you just turn it inside out if you want to wear it in black or dark brown whatever you just turn it inside out if you need to change the color so it's very cute so again we have this nice little green top I'm so glad I found this because <laughs> I had a moment of panic I thought because I really like this I really like this sweater it's just so cool I did I panicked I thought oh god did I get rid of it because I have done that before I have accidentally donated things and then realized later oh no I didn't mean to put that in the bag shoot like I'll have a pile of stuff on the floor to donate and somehow something I didn't mean to donate gets swept up in it and then I don't realize it until it's too late but that's that's just a lesson to me to be a little bit more careful <laughs> to pay attention but I did have it it was just kind of somehow got back behind a stack of sweaters I don't know how that happened but I was very happy to find it see this kind of swings too so it goes really well with the little skirt I'm wearing more skirts this week than I have been wearing because the weather's not going to be quite as chilly so I feel a little bit more comfortable but again like I said I do have uh, tights like winter tights I can wear under it for an extra layer of warmth if I feel like I need it so but it's been unseasonably warm here we still haven't had any snow it's almost the end of January we still have plenty of time to have it but we haven't had any yet we had sleet one morning for about 15 minutes that's all we've had for frozen precipitation this winter so far it's okay by me I don't miss it so you just take this little buckle and you fasten it here and you have that and we have our bracelet there our earrings and of course our necklace and our reversible dark brown skirt oh in the shoes I have these little shoes here these are from blowfish they are the most comfortable boots I love these boots <laughs> they are they are adorable I think I bought these in a thrift store and they were like brand new so these are the boots that I'm gonna wear with this and that is our outfit for Wednesday 
And then we come to Friday. Friday's outfit was inspired by one of the prettiest scarves I think I have ever seen. I found it in a thrift store. Look at this. Oh my god. It's silk. And look how beautiful that is. Oh my god, the colors are just amazing. And the back is dark brown velvet. When I wear this scarf, I just I catch myself just doing this. I'm just like I pet the scarf because it's so silky. It feels so nice. And then sometimes I do this, like I'll rub this, but you can also feel this at the same time and there's something just so neat about it. And it has these little dark brown tassels down here. It's just beautiful. So now this scarf has green in it, sort of a gold color and brown and blue. Oh, look at that. It's just so pretty. Oh my god. I think this is the prettiest scarf I've ever seen in my life. I, I adore it. I love this scarf. So I decided to put together an outfit to go with it. Well, I had this hanging in my closet. And right next to it, I had this bag. My Portland Leather Goods little round uh, crossbody bag. So I would pair this scarf with this bag. I think they look really good together. I like it because it has an outside pocket to put my keys in. And it's very roomy on the inside and you have this adjustable strap. And it's a fun, it, the color name is Sunflower and it's just a very pretty shade of yellow, I think. So I saw those two together hanging. There's, there's a tie rack in my closet. And I use it to hang belts and stuff on. And I had this scarf on it and that, that purse, that little bag. So I saw them together. I said, well, you gotta, you gotta use that bag. So then I got to looking through my clothing items. And I found this sweater right here. This is from Mossimo. And I bought this not too long ago at the little thrift store. The back has this, just a simple knit to it. It's a little long. And to go with that, I picked out this little gold necklace and the most fun little bracelet. It is a stretchy bracelet, but looking at it, you can see that we have all of these different beads. They are all plastic. They kind of look like glass, but they're all plastic. They look like glass and metal, but they're not. And it's stretchy. And I thought it would look really pretty with this scarf. And I haven't worn this bracelet much, so I decided to let it enjoy a day out of the drawer over there. Oh, and the earrings. Oh my gosh, I was looking through my earrings and I had forgotten all about this pretty pair of earrings. Look how pretty they are. Oh my gosh. And these are just the prettiest little earrings. I love them. And they're not heavy at all. They're actually very lightweight, which I'm, I'm not a big fan of heavy earrings. I just, if I'm conscious of wearing them, I'm going to take them off because I don't want anything uncomfortable. Especially when I'm working all day and I'm, you know, I just, I want to be comfortable. And to go with that, I have another, another skirt. This is very similar to the one I bought that was the crushed velvet, except this one is corduroy. It is a fine corduroy in a dark brown. It has a little bit of a swing to it. And it's the perfect dress for fall and winter. It has an unfinished hem. I kind of like the way it looks. This nice little hem to it is not finished. I think it just looks cute. So we have a lot of brown and this sort of a, a mustard, would you call it a mustard yellow? I don't know, but I thought it would look nice with this bag here, like that. And then we have the scarf. Let me model the scarf on the hanger. And see, you can actually, you know, kind of lay it out where you're only going to see the silky side, but sometimes I like to kind of do it 
sort of twist it a little bit so that the brown velvet also shows. I think that makes it look even better to kind of have both showing like that. Yeah, but you, you want to bring it down a little bit so the necklace shows too, which you can do very easily. So you kind of open it up so the necklace shows a little bit. So we have our bag and our interesting little neck our bracelet here that looks so nice with that. Of course, I'm not going to wear the bracelet on my neck, but I like to show it to you next to the scarf because the scarf was what made me pick the bracelet like that. And for boots, with this corduroy skirt, I kind of feel like these faux suede, faux shearling, faux whatever it is, boots would look nice. It's a little wedge heel, but they do have some nice arch support in them. I haven't worn them much this winter, but I thought they would look really cute with this skirt. Right here, it's a nice dark brown, just like the skirt. And it's a very dark brown. The skirt is almost black. It's, it's extremely dark brown, but I love, I love that rich dark brown color. It's so nice. And the little earrings. These earrings are so pretty. I like the texture on the little crescent shape right there. It's very pretty. So we have our sweater with our beautiful scarf, bracelet, the gold necklace, the dark brown corduroy skirt, the earrings, and the little wedge boots. And that is my outfit for Thursday. And that brings us to Friday. And I, you know, Friday is a more casual day at work. We can wear jeans on Fridays. Um, and I like to wear something kind of fun. Not every Friday, but some Fridays I just feel like wearing something a little, a little fun. And so I went into, I went into the closet to look at everything. And I was thinking like, I want to wear something kind of fun. And I spotted this blouse. This is very fun. Look at this pattern. Oh my gosh. This came from the little thrift store recently for $3. I, this might have been on the 50 cent rack. I don't remember, but I know it came from there. And the most expensive it was was $3. It may have been 50 cents. I don't remember. See, after things have been there for a little bit, every item has a different color tag. And after a little bit, the tag goes half price and then it goes to 50 cents. This might have been 50 cents. I don't remember. Doesn't matter. It's from Cable and Gage. I'm going to show you this necklace in a minute too. Well, you can already see it, but it has this look in the front like there's a bit of a braid right here in the fabric. Now it has a bit of a plunging neckline, so I would probably wear something under it, um, like a black tank top or something, just to kind of, you don't want to go nowhere, you know, looking like that, but, um, yeah, it's really nice, but it is kind of a thin material. I think it's a rayon blend. I love all these colors, though. Look at all these pretty colors in this blouse. <laughs> it's so cute. And to go with it, I have this necklace that I don't wear much because a lot of my clothes just don't really go with it. Look at all these different strands of these glass beads, all these colors. I love it. And it has a medium-sized silver lobster claw clasp and about four inches of adjustable chain. All these pretty strands. So when I took that top out of off the hanger or off the rack, I thought I need to find a necklace that looks good with this. And this one was just perfect. Absolutely perfect with this. Oh my gosh, because this has tons of colors. This has tons of colors. It's perfect. So I'm thinking, well if you wanna if you want to wear something fun, what are you gonna wear with it? I looked through my skirts and my slacks and nothing, nothing looked right. I didn't have this one denim skirt that would look cute actually, but I decided I wanted to wear something else. I wanted to wear like pants. So then I remembered I have this pair of jeans. I've never worn these to work, <laughs> but these are the cutest bell bottom jeans and they have embroidery down at the bottom. Look at that. <laughs> it has these little embroidered flowers. And it's on both legs. It's just like these, I bought them online from one of these, I don't know where they came from, probably outer space or something. It took them forever to get here. 
and buying stuff online is kind of hit or miss because I bought another pair of these in black and they were ripped like I didn't even they weren't too small but I was just pulling them up and they the seam just ripped because they were cheaply made I didn't even pull on it that hard I was just pulling them up and they ripped and they wouldn't let me return them because they said it had been too long since I purchased them but I just it was a whole thing I ended up having to just throw them away so buying things online can be kind of hit or miss but these I, I actually love these and I think these are just so cute they're kind of plain except for the bell bottom with the embroidery <laughs> I get compliments every time I wear these people somebody will always say they're cute and they have an unfinished hem too <laughs> yeah so I thought it would be really fun to wear this top with these pants <laughs> I think it's fun it, again it's it, Friday is much more casual I mean you know within reason I mean you don't want to go in there and flip-flops and a tank top but this is fine <laughs> this is fine but like I said this is a thin material so I wanted something to keep me warm so I have this fuzzy sweater here's like a little cardigan from Ann Taylor and it's so warm and it has little hints of gold thread in it it's very subtle this thing is incredibly warm oh it is so warm I love this thing I wear it pretty often and it's a nice kind of a cream color so it kind of goes with almost everything which is great I found this at Goodwill it was five dollars and so I would just take this and it kind of covers it up I know but I, I don't want to be cold for eight hours <laughs> So you can still kind of see it and it peeks out in the back too a little bit so you can still see it and then I wanted to wear some fun earrings I have you know I have fun earrings look at these we have these long dangly rhinestone multicolored earrings they're so long they are so long I thought they would be perfect to go with all the colors in this top I adore these earrings I don't remember I don't remember where I got these I'm thinking I got them at Goodwill but I could be wrong I think they did come from Goodwill but I don't wear them much because you know I don't know I have to be in a certain mood to wear these but I thought with all these colors they would be perfect to go with the multicolored necklace, the multicolored blouse. It's just perfect. Oh gosh. And then just um, to go with these pants, I thought these boots would be perfect with my long bell bottom embroidered jeans. Just got my little faux cowboy boots here. These little things, they're very comfortable. They're really nice. I don't even have to put an insole in these. They have wonderful arch support as they are. I don't know who made them. I forget limelight or something but they're surprisingly comfortable and they don't have a high heel which I also have arthritis in my toes and I've lost a lot of the flexibility in my toes so I can't really do high heels anymore but that's okay so again for a fun Friday we, we have these groovy pants which I think are just the best the fun top with the multicolored necklace and this off-white little cardigan to keep me from freezing to death my fun long earrings and my boots and that is my fun outfit for Friday thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed getting to see my five outfits for the upcoming week at work as well as the little bonus outfit that I paid two dollars for the pantsuit I just wanted to show you that just an idea if you're looking you know thinking of things to wear looking for stuff for a job interview definitely check out local thrift stores and consignment shops you might be able to find some nice stuff and the good thing about two-piece outfits like that is that you can mix and match it with other basic pieces and make multiple outfits out of it so you get a little bit more for your money that way thank you so much for being here I really hope that you have a great day and I'll see you again soon.